my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you peace and health as you listen to the word of God. This is Gospel Reading for today, Catholic Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection for June 20, 2024, Thursday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time. First reading, a reading from the book of Sirach, chapter 48, verses 1 to 14. Like a fire there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered. In his zeal he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word he shut up the heavens and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours? You brought a dead man back to life from the nether world by the will of the Lord. You sent kings down to destruction and easily broke their power into pieces. You brought down nobles from their beds of sickness. You heard threats at Sinai, at Horeb avenging judgments. You anointed kings who should inflict vengeance and a prophet as your successor. You were taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of fathers toward their sons, and to re-establish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you and who falls asleep in your friendship. For we live only in our life, but after death our name will not be such. O Elijah, enveloped in the world wind. Then Elisha, filled with the twofold portion of his spirit, wrought many marvels by his mere word. During his lifetime, he feared no one, nor was any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond his power. Beneath him, flesh was brought back into life. In life, he performed wonders, and after death, marvelous deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, real psalm. Your response, rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Your response, rejoice in the Lord, you just. Fire goes before him and consumes his foes round about. His lightnings illumine the world. The earth sees and trembles. Your response, rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord. Before the Lord of all the earth, the heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Your response, rejoice in the Lord, you just. All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in the things of naught. All gods are prostrate before him. Your response, rejoice in the Lord, you just. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. You have received a spirit of adoption as a sons through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 6 verses 7 to 15. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that 
they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel Reflection. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. The Lord's prayer is found in Matthew 6, 7-15 in today's Gospel. Jesus teaches us here that without the appropriate deeds on our part, prayer is never truly fulfilled. My dear friends, no matter how many words I use in prayer, they mean nothing if I am filled with bitterness and I am unable to grant my neighbor what I am pleading with God for. When I am secretly hoping for my neighbor's loss, how can I ask God for protection? When I want to laugh at my neighbor's business failure, how can I request that my own business thrive? How can I be pleading for Satan's death when I later glorify him by leading an unjust life? My dear friends, prayer is action-based faith, not just words. Confession, petition, intercession, thanksgiving and praise are the five fundamental components of prayer that are simple to recall. My dearly beloved friends, the structure of this prayer demonstrates that God wants us to rely on Him rather than on ourselves. We are pleading with God to provide for our actual needs in this day and age. Please give us the care we require, dear Jesus. Give us the nourishment we require. Give us the clothing we require. Lord, please enable us to share what we have with others. Help us to enjoy the many blessings in our lives by sharing what we have. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, strengthen my faith so that I may understand the importance of using just meaningful words in my prayers and that my deeds won't take away from them. Lord, please help me to love you with all of my words, actions and thoughts. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.